I'm going to show you five of the simplest but most effective boxing tips that you've never heard of. Starting with this one, which is make a noise. <laughs> Not that one, this one. Making a noise when you throw a punch, especially a strong, powerful one like that, is sending a signal to your body telling it to be strong and powerful, which is helping your body and your brain work together. As you probably know, you need to be breathing when you're punching, so it's also helping you with that as well. Breathing in normally, but breathing out with the force. Ah! That's where the noise comes. And doing this with the next tips, you will surprise yourself in your boxing training. But which noise should you make? Because there's a few popular noises. There's the old fashioned one what I used to do when I was young. Is, 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 is. It's still breathing out with force. Then we've got the wah, wah, wah noise. Then we've got the <laughs> Then we've got the just breathing out. You should try all of these with the next tips on the video and see exactly what works for you. But when you're doing this, make sure you're not wearing small gloves, like six ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, or probably even 12 ounces, because this can prevent you from leveling up in boxing in four ways. The first way is it can prevent you from getting less shoulder endurance compared to if you were wearing 16 ounce gloves like these ones here. What this is doing is pull my arms down a little bit. So in training, I'm building up my shoulder endurance by having to keep up these heavier gloves. And as well, because they are heavier, in training, I'm going to punch slower. And then once I've wore these multiple times, and then I want to put a pair of 10 ounce fight gloves on, I'm going to be way faster. Over time, you're going to build up that shoulder endurance. And when you're sparring, you are not wearing 10 ounce gloves. You shouldn't be. If you are, you want to move gyms and go somewhere else. We are wearing big 16 ounce gloves. So if you're wearing 16 ounce gloves in training, that is actually preparing you physically and mentally for when you get in the ring and you're sparring. And as well, injury. There's a less chance of getting injured if you've got more protection on your knuckles than you would if you're wearing a pair of eight ounce gloves. And then number four, the biggest one of all is wearing smaller gloves is preventing you from punching faster. Now you might be thinking, Tony, what the hell are you talking about? I've got 10 ounce gloves on. I'm like lightning. Yes, mate, you might be. But imagine this, you wearing some 16 ounce gloves for three weeks, four weeks, and then you put your 10 ounce gloves back on. How much faster are you going to be because of all the other benefits I've just given you? This is something you should always be doing, as well as my next tip, which is finishing every session you do with a core workout. This is something I did training for the Olympics and as a professional boxer. I actually did it throughout my full career. And there's a big reason for this. Did you know it helps you punch harder? It gives you better balance, which you need for moving and punching at the same time. It also helps you with your rotational speed, which helps you punch faster with either hand. As well, your stability, which is perfect for improving your offense and your defense, and then as well, injury prevention. We don't wanna get injured, so having a strong core will definitely help with that. And you can simply do this by just doing it five or 10 minutes at the end of each session, and you can get a six pack like him as well. <laughs> And soon on this video, I'm gonna give you a boxing session that you can do next time you're in the gym. But first, let's talk about number tip four and five, which I know no one has told you about because tip number four, I heard this from a world-class sports psychologist. And let me ask you this, mate, what do you wear to training? Do you look good when you're working out? And if you've not thought about this before, this is why you should and why it's so important, even if you feel out of shape. As you know, most gyms are full of mirrors, right? And if you see yourself in the mirror and you don't like what you see, what's that gonna do with you mentally compared to if you walk past the mirror and you like what you see, how you look? Wearing some smart shoes, some smart shorts and a really smart t-shirt. By the way, this is not a plug for these t-shirts that's available online, you can click the link below. But if you are wearing this good clobber, you will boost your confidence because you're gonna look good and you look in the mirror and you're like, wow, I actually look pretty good at you. And if you look good, that's gonna make you feel good. And then if you feel good, 
you're going to train better. And if you train better, you'll train for longer. And if you train for longer, you're going to improve in boxing. All of this by just wearing some smart clothes. Especially if you're doing this with tip number five, which is wearing a mouthpiece to training. And wearing this for training, not for doing videos, has so many benefits, especially if you do it with the workout that I'm about to give you after I talk about this. Now, when I say wearing the mouth guard for training, I don't just mean for sparring. I'm talking about for your warm up, for doing jump rope, for shadow boxing, for hitting the heavy bag. And it's so important for a few reasons. The first one is when you wear a mouth guard, it's uncomfortable. And in boxing, we've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. If the only time you're wearing a mouthpiece is in sparring, where it's uncomfortable anyway because someone is punching you in the face, and you've got to move around, think about your defense, think about your offense. You've got so much to think about without having to try and breathe as well. So getting used to wearing the mouth guard outside of sparring will only help you when you get in to sparring. Another thing with it being harder to breathe wearing the mouthpiece, it's making your lungs and breathing muscles work more in training. And with any muscle on your body, the more you work it, the stronger they're going to get. So give it a try with this workout that I'm going to give you to see some huge benefits. Now, I want you to grab a pen and paper and write this workout down for the next time that you're in the gym to give it a go. But before I give you this free workout, I want to give you something else for free because I'm really kind and just a nice guy. And that is a video package to help you perfect your punches in boxing. I've created this ideal five-step formula to help you improve your punches, where you've got to identify your mistakes, drill out your bad habits, execute on them, and then analyze, and then level up. All you've got to do is click the link below. I'm going to send you this totally free video package that I'm sure you're going to love to help you level up in boxing. Now, this workout that you can be doing, let me tell you. What I want you to do, you start off with your warm up, five, 10 minutes. Then you're going to grab a jump rope, ideally one of these Tony Jeffries jump ropes that just spin for ages and ages. You're going to do four rounds of this and do what you normally do with your time, whether it's two minutes or three minute rounds. And then from there, you're going to go into four rounds of shadow boxing. Then after your shadow boxing, you're either going to go onto a heavy bag or mitts with a trainer, if you've got a good trainer, and do eight rounds there. But I want you focused on good form and technique. Then from there, we're going to finish off with abs and core, followed by a stretch. But now if you want this workout more detailed, full professional boxing workout, you should click here and watch this video next, where I show you what I used to do alongside of Vander Holyfield. Click here and watch this video next.